It's the backbone of modern life. It's in the food we eat, the houses we live in, the cars we drive. Oil is one of the most important commodities in the world. But what would happen if all the oil in the world suddenly disappeared? Martial law has been declared to deal with the emergency. Food shipments are being delivered to New York. Hundreds of thousands are on the move. They say the cities are growing too dangerous. What would happen to our cities, our food, our way of life? What would happen to us? Today is that day. The day the world runs out of oil. For 150 years, we've been extracting it from the ground. An economical, versatile fuel that has made the modern world possible. In California, the Kern River oil field is a black underground pool containing more than half a billion barrels of oil. By itself, it could fuel America for four weeks. But in one minute, it's all going to disappear. The same is about to be true all over the world. From Saudi Arabia to the North Sea, to the massive tar sands of Alberta, Canada, the oil that drives our cars, flies our planes, and powers our factories, all of the oil that remains underground or trapped in the earth is about to vanish. Deep underground, an ominous signal. I think there's something going on. I gotta go. Yeah. Right. We've extracted more than a trillion barrels of oil from the earth. About the same amount is supposed to be left. What's going on? I have, I have no idea what's going on. Yesterday, this single refinery processed 300,000 barrels of oil. But suddenly, there's nothing. The crisis many predicted for the future is now a reality. The results will be catastrophic. Our world will be reshaped. of a trillion barrels of accessible untapped oil. But scientists are now confirming that it's all gone. Around the world, from Saudi Arabia to Alaska, the oil below the ground has disappeared. U.S. oil companies say as much as 20 million barrels are left at their refinery. Companies say it's not just our supply of gas, but diesel fuel, lubricants, asphalt, tar. All of the products that are made from oil will be severely affected if we can't find more oil. Tankers are the key to moving oil. Right now, there are thousands on the move, carrying millions of barrels of oil. Countries who are shipping it out, including Russia and Saudi Arabia, order the boats back home. It's a huge blow to the United States. The country imports more oil than any other in the world. Every day, the United States produces more than 8 million barrels of oil, but it consumes more than twice that. Suddenly, the country is 8 million barrels of oil short every day. Reports of long lines at gas stations as people try to stock up. Expect two to three hour delays.
It's the last chance, perhaps ever, for people to fill up their cars. During the 1973 oil embargo, a reduction in oil imports meant stations across America began to run out of gas. Over 100,000 gas stations across the United States are being pumped dry. The same is true at others around the world. The price for what remains has skyrocketed. Many countries do have oil in reserve. The United States alone has 725 million barrels of crude hidden away. To protect the precious oil that remains, the government takes dramatic steps. Planes, trains, boats. All of them run on fuel that comes from oil. All but the most vital transportation is shut down. Tracks are empty. Flights are grounded. If you were one of the four million people flying today, you'd have no way of getting to your destination. The same is true of hundreds of thousands of tons of goods. People and products are stranded. The economic fallout is swift. Uncertainty, like the panic that followed the terrorist attacks on 9-11, forced the U.S. government to halt stock trading. More than $2 trillion worth of oil stock are now worthless. There are more than 400,000 people working in the U.S. oil industry. Go out to Mexico. Sure. All right. Now their jobs have vanished. All right, let's move. They try to get home any way they can. So much uncertainty about what will happen next, thousands of other manufacturing plants close immediately. Millions of people lose their jobs. For both business and personal needs, America used the equivalent of 10 super tankers filled with oil every single day. This steel plant alone burned through a thousand barrels of oil a day. But now there's no oil to fuel the furnaces, no raw materials to turn into steel. Without steel, there's no new construction, no cars, and it's not just steel. Oil is one of the most powerful, versatile fuels on the planet. Dead plants and animals, compressed and heated over hundreds of millions of years, produced a primal planetary nectar, one that can be made into everything from toothpaste to lipstick, polyester to plastics. Now, it's all gone. An enormous chain reaction is set in motion. What's your name? The lack of oil will soon cripple every part of our lives. Our hospitals, our food, our power. And the crisis is just beginning. Gasoline is completely gone. The oil reserves are empty. 
There are a few cars on the road, but they're much different than before. Cars used to weigh an average of 1,800 kilograms each, but the new vehicles are considerably lighter. And they're powered by electricity. Their bodies and engines aren't made from metal, but from lighter materials like carbon fiber. But these vehicles are expensive. The lithium to power their batteries is still in limited supply. To get large fleets of container ships and trucks moving again, the world has turned to biofuel, made from algae. In North America, huge bioreactors have been built. 39,000 square kilometers of algae are producing all of the fuel the country needs. Once it's processed, it's pumped through pipelines once used to move oil around the world. Increasingly, electricity is driving transportation. Electric trains are linking people around the planet. Cities are growing up all along the rail lines. Other cities are abandoned. Oil fueled an enormous boom around the world. In just 150 years, it allowed the world's population to double, then triple. It allowed food production to explode, world trade to expand. Without oil, the world has been profoundly reshaped. Our cities, our skies, our roads look nothing like they once did. Changing this one thing changed everything.